Hey everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Today's review is for a fragrance that I have been looking forward to a lot this year. I actually almost blind bought this and to be honest, I'm kind of glad that I didn't and I'll tell you why in a second. <laughs> anyway, so this one is called Narciso Rodriguez Narciso Crystal EDP. It comes in that gorgeous cube bottle that I absolutely love. I have heard that the original one in that white opaque bottle, that one, the original cube, I heard that was discontinued. I'm not sure if it's true, but if you guys know anything about that, please let us know in the comments. Anyways, the new release for 2022 Narciso Crystal EDP. The top notes are freesia, orange blossom, and bergamot. Middle notes are musk, jasmine, rose, white flowers. And then the base notes are cedar, cashmere, benzoin, and amber. So with this one here, let me just spray it on. I have worn it on skin already a few times. It's just basically a first impressions of it. And for me, it starts off as a tangy, citrusy musk. There is a bergamot in here and you do smell that straight off the bat. And also, the freesia in here is also noticeable. And a freesia flower in real life to me has this lemony, zesty kind of scent to it. And that is definitely noticeable in the opening here. So we have this sparkling, fresh, citrusy musk that feels transparent. And it also has a little bit of this powderiness that I smell right away. And this powderiness is something I do recognize and it is kind of familiar from previous scents like the ombre and the ombre neroli scent. So yeah, the opening is very nice. It's, it's bright, it's happy, it's light and fresh. And it is my favorite part of this scent. So the mid and dry down of this one here, the musk takes over and normally I love the musk in Narciso perfumes. But for some reason, the musk one, the musk note in here on my skin gets extremely sharp. And it has like this sharp piercing feeling to it. It is dominantly sharp musk. And I also smell the mixed florals in here as well. Uh, there's jasmine, rose, and white flowers in here. And it does stay fresh and light and airy but it is so sharp to me that it kind of makes me like well, like <laughs> it's I am kind of it, for me it's a bit too much in the dry down of Narciso Crystal EDP I'm left with a slightly powdery clean woody musk it's not as sharp anymore but it's still there and it is just too much <laughs> on my skin it just felt a little bit overwhelming for me and it's not a bad scent. I think the scent itself is, is beautiful. Um, it is a safe scent. I think this is perfect for spring or summer because of this nice sparkling quality that it has. And I'm glad I didn't blind buy it because this one doesn't work as well for me as some other Narciso perfumes that I am totally in love with. So this is a pass for me, but it's just, I don't know. <laughs> I am a little bit disappointed with it, to be honest, uh, because of how much I love the other Narciso perfumes that I own. I also have very high expectations when it comes to this house. But this one was all right, but the musk for me just wasn't working well. So that's just my personal opinion on Narciso Crystal EDP. If you've tried it, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you soon in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.